Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do a video of me stamping um, these new stamps I got from Hobby Lobby. I wanted to try this stamp out. So I'm gonna be using a couple of things for, like I like to use this as like, kind of like a junk journal, but just writing and journaling down and using my stamps and using just my stickers and new paper I've been getting and I just love journaling and writing in here because it's really like a perfect size for me and just putting different bits in the pages and using my scraps or some tags and stamps and just different things for the pages and making it pretty and that's what I want to do for today and I have so many things that I'm going to be using. Some things I'm probably not going to um, be using. But, you know, I'm just, I just grabbed a lot of things. And uh, I just want to make it just fun and just like junk journal type-ish. And then this beautiful paper. It's like this kind of like recycled paper. I love this type of paper. And then it has these leaves on them so I just been grabbing a lot of stuff and just going along that really thinking about it and like just going writing and journaling as I go so let's see how the stamp is gonna look I'm thinking oh then I also got some paint so it's just gonna be like not giving it any thought and just having fun with it just get a random scrap of paper. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get any type of paper. This paint, it's pretty gold metallic. I'm just gonna shake it really good. And I don't mind if it's imperfect because I like it that way. I don't mind if it doesn't come out like really gold as long as it gives it like a shine. some glitter paint to make the pages more have a shine to it and now we're gonna be using the stamp and I can't wait to use it just been waiting for a really long time and I think I'm gonna put it right here gonna make sure it gets in the stamp just pressing it really hard and I can't wait to see how it looks I'm just gonna hold it on the page and see how it looks. Wow, it looks so pretty. I really love how it looks. Like it looks really kind of like vintage. Like I love like when some of the stamp like kind of on and off because it looks like vintagey. I just think it looks so pretty. I love it so much. Looks and you can see the shine peeking through. And then in my bag, I had some uh, flower petals. And from that bag, I am using these flower petals right here. I'm gonna be gluing them. As I go along then I got this sticker from Hobby Lobby as well and I'm gonna put 
could praise him. Planted in my faith. And sometimes what I like to do is add little reminders to myself like like we feel at home with you and we will sit beneath your shadow but as for you Lord our hearts are fixed on you so I just love adding little reminders to myself to be yourself in a beautiful celebration when Christ picks us up and we go to him and we go home and to know that all the pain, all the suffering was worth it. Hallelujah. So I like to add little notes to myself. Are these prettier cards? And I want to be using them. I'm fearfully, wonderfully made. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Maybe using that one. Give thanks to the Lord for his good and his love endures forever. So amen. I think I'm going to be using this one. His, his amazing love and how he died for us on the cross and just having that reminder that all the time and reminding yourself that Christ died for us he forgave us and that once we are saved our sins are forgiven and thank God for his grace and his mercy and I think I'm going to add that as a tip in I could add it this way too because it still fits so I think I'm going to add it this way and I could put some washi tape. I even holds a sticker sometimes too. Okay. Ready? I'm getting the other side to it too. So now I'm adding that as a tip in case I need to write something later. These stickers, because the crown reminds me that we are daughters of a king. Gotta remind ourselves that. That who we belong to, who we are, and we are daughters of God. So let's see which one I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this. This one. Putting it right here give myself that reminder because to me I feel like it reminds me who who I am who I belong to and forget who we belong to sometimes we forget we are daughters of a king children of a king and we have to remind ourselves that so this gives me like a little reminder a little thought that the crown represents that we are royal God is king he's on the throne he is powerful all-knowing and that's uh, just what it what it reminds me of and gives me that thought. I'm gonna add this stamp, this heart stamp too. I'm gonna either put it here or I think I'm gonna put it right here. Not very good. Then just press on it really hard and press when you're stamping, press on the stamp hard on the stamping pad and also when you're gonna stamp, press hard as well. So that that kind of helps me if I want to get the full stamp look, if you know what I mean. So, seeing what I want to add. I sometimes add more, sometimes add less. Depends. That Jesus has the key to our heart. This represents that for me. I love that I could just make it junk journalish, and for me it looks really pretty and just simple stickers just give me when I go back and read and or when I write it just makes me remember. is this song that I've been listening to by Carrie Job. I'm pretty sure you've heard it. It's called Forever. And to know that forever God is lifted high, forever 
he has risen so to know that no matter what we go through in life forever he's he's alive and that he's along with us and helping us Myself, not that he's just risen on Easter, but like every day for me to remember he is risen because for his love and grace and mercy, we can be forgiven, we can be saved. Charles Spurgeon book Joy in Christ's Presence. I'm gonna write was this full quote that I was reading. As the people of God, we are always under the protection of the Most High. Whenever we go, wherever we go, wherever we suffer, wherever our difficulties, temptation, trials, or perplexities may be, we're always under the shadow of the Almighty. And what, we're, what it was talking about says, He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So I'm going to write that down to remind ourselves no matter what, we're always under the shadow of God and He's always protecting us in there. Okay. Now I'm just grabbing some stickers and putting them on the page. I have a lot of stickers so I need to use up a lot of them. So what I did is, because I wanted to add the tree, I cut half of it and acted like it was half a tree, like the, it's coming out on the other side. And because it just reminds me how Jesus was nailed on the cross for us in the wood and how it symbolizes that. And that is it for this page. I will see, maybe sometimes I do add things later on here and there. But this is the completed page. I'll remind you all that forever he is risen, forever he's alive, and that he is with us, and that when we abide under his shadow, he is there to strengthen us, to encourage us, to protect us. And I love that. And also the scripture as well, as well. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Because sometimes we forget we are loved. Sometimes we forget what Jesus did for us and we have to go back and remind ourselves what he did and how amazing his love is and just reminding ourselves and I think journaling for me is helpful because I could go back to it more for me writing it is I could remember it and going back and just meditating on the scriptures and memorizing them so thank you all for staying tuned and watching hopefully you all had fun and God bless you all. See you all in the next video. So, get some wash. Ow. <laughs> get some washi tape. Ow, that hurt my finger.